Hi, Penny. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. I was just about to feed the horses breakfast, but it is actually lunchtime. It's lunchtime. We have been spring cleaning our house all morning, trying to get things ready for spring because when summer gets here, we are always on the go and outside all the time. So it's harder to get all the big stuff done. So we've been doing that this morning and now is lunchtime. I've come down to feed the horses. Also, I wanna kinda of try and do a little bit of spring cleaning in the barn because during the winter, nobody wants to stay down here very long. So things get all messed up and untidy. So I'm gonna try and do that today. I really wanna hang these things up. I actually asked Sam to hang them up for me, but he hasn't done it. One says barn, one says ride, and one says farm. And I want to hang those up today as well. Hi, Penny. Hi. Were you waiting for lunch? It's me today. It's me bringing lunch. They are all waiting for lunch. My goal was to clean up this area of the paddock today, but it rained half the morning, so everything's all wet. So it'll have to wait until tomorrow morning. Anytime there's some kind of party or celebration or anything planned at our house, I always am so super organized. Even like with horse shows, we're really organized. Like on horse show, show nights, our kids go to bed at 8, 8 o'clock or 8.30. Sam and I also go to bed at 8 o'clock or 8.30. But I like to keep a really strict schedule and plan for things like that because then we're always in a good mood and we're always all happy and do our best when we're well rested. The girls are meeting me down here in just a few minutes and then we're going to figure out how we can get things organized. Mostly I wanna organize this table, this table, this rack, this rack, this rack, and this rack, which is the one where everything always ends up. So every time I have some kind of event or something that I have to be prepared and do a lot of work for, I always set a plan every single day. That's what keeps me organized, is knowing what I need to get done and what day and how to do it, what day to do it. So you guys saw that yesterday when there was no rain, we cut all the grass and got everything all ready for our barbecue that we're having with friends and family because I know that, because I knew today I wouldn't be able to do it because of the rain. Then I saved all the indoor stuff for today when I knew it was gonna rain. All right, so typically I set up the camera and then show you guys me organizing it, but what I'm gonna do today, because we have so many different areas, I'm gonna show it to you like a big mess, and then I'm gonna show it to you in five, four, three, two. So uh, this is the final product. This is the final clean. Um, I would love to wash all my bottles down. That's what I'm gonna have to do next time. I'm gonna bring down a washcloth and wash all the dust off. So I'm just gonna run through all this stuff really quick. This is our grain buckets. And I wash them weekly at the house and scrub them out. Um, these are just some fans and miscellaneous stuff, some uh, supplemental stuff, like we eat some cleaning stuff and some fly spray and some stuff that I use for like rain rot. Over there we have a bunch of supplements and then our treat bucket. So I'm just gonna go through, this is UTP and that is what we use for most of our horses it is it is ulcer therapy i found this um thing that i had printed off that talks about the benefits of it it's designed for horses with ulcers calms and heals the stomach supports and maintains gastric health it's economical when compared to uh, drugs proven effective and no fillers and this stuff, I swear by it. Our horses love this stuff. And it, it, none of our horses have any signs of ulcers. So then this is our Campresco oil. We now use W3, I think it's called, Mad Barn. But it comes in a bag. Well, I heard that it's changing. But right now we buy it in a bag and we just empty it into here to make it more user friendly. This is Penny's Quiescence. It's a mineral. And she gets that every morning and she just gets a very minimal dosage of it because she doesn't need a lot of it. This is our salt. Do you know Jesus Halter? This matches it. Oh, do you want to take it to the barn? No. Oh. <laughs> and this is also glucosamine that Penny gets. She's old, so I just give it to her because 
um, just as like a maintenance or as like a preventative, just something that makes me feel good to give to her. She hasn't shown any signs that she needs it, but she came on a glucose immune supplement, so I've kept her on it. I also wanted to show you that this is the prebiotic and probiotic that we feed all of our horses, Equine Choice. We give it to them for the first three months that we have them, and then we give it to them like a couple times a year after that. So we, so uh, that is something that we keep in there, and then we have some um, antihistamine and some other stuff. But anyway, that is it. That is our final clean up of that and then down below we have our cat food and in these buckets we have our grain we love these buckets for grain they're so super easy one has salt and one has grain uh gabby is here now and she's gonna tackle the saddle pad collection you guys know the saddle pad collection here i'm gonna take that up to the house and get dad to fix it he's so good at fixing holes patching holes we have space over here we can push that stand over here, over here, it doesn't leak over here, just right here. There's a leak right here because of that thing. All right, so anyways, you guys saw the saddle pad section and we are gonna show you it completely renovated and cleaned up in three, in three, two, one. So here is the saddle pad section. Um, this is just a stand that we made out of wood and these are hay feeders that were in the stalls. We should put this back in the stall. No, I don't like them. They're too much risk for injury having all that metal in a horse stall. But anyway, this is Gabby's section and this is Sophie's section. And these are their overstock of saddle pads. Yeah, all these pink ones I will never be using my chance. Well, you know, Chance might not be your last horse. You're only 12. I know, but Chance is a redhead, and you can't use pink or red on a redhead. Yeah, it just doesn't go. Anyway, we decided to move all that over here to kind of open up all the area so it's not all a mess over there. Okay, so now we have Sophie in the barn, and Sophie's going to tackle this section. Over here, Sophie, all I want on here are our flags, which actually, I think you should take your flag to the barn. I think it would work better than your crop for chance because he doesn't really me. I think we should try it I can crack the whip a million times if you want yeah let's chase him and Ch he won't even move. chance does not care about anything but anyways so she is going to redo this whole section and we're just gonna have each horse's halters each horse can have one thing with their halters on it and all the rest of it I want cleared off all right. Hold on. We're gonna show you guys. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna do that. Uh, I can be the transition. Okay. We're gonna show you guys in three, two, one. Willow, Penny, Gracie. Willow, Penny, Gracie, and then we have our brooms. We have other brooms. They're just being used right now. We have. Shovels and pitchforks. We have other pitchforks we have as well. Floating shovels. We have floating shovels. Um, this is all like the chaff that comes from the hay. Our horses like it. And I always save it. Carrot. We have a random carrot. Well, like who doesn't need a random carrot? So uh, this is what she did. This is how she cleaned it all up. I think it looks pretty good. So a lot of our whips and like dressage whips and stuff, and our flags are up here because um, we have. We have a thing that holds them, and they're out there, but the horses eat them, so we can't leave them out there. So I need to like bring that in and put it in here, which I think would be a better idea, but there you go. That is, weight for Stella. yeah, so we have a weight thing there that when Stella, we had a metabolic horse, and she had a founder flare, and so we were weighing and soaking her hay for a long time, and we left it there because you never know when you can use a good scale. We also left it there because we forgot about it. No, I, I like it there. Oh, I forgot about it. All right, so now Gabby is going to tackle this thing, and we have so many things. The reason I don't like to put any of it into a box is because it gets moldy, it gets smelly, or it gets oh, no. lost. Well, sometimes I, I it does, and I don't want any of that stuff to get ruined or wrecked. This is all the stuff that is our good stuff. So anyway, Gabby's gonna try and organize this and make it look a little cuter. Before I go and show you guys Gabby's section that she did with, I wanted to show you guys 
This is the yardstick or the stick that we had. It got all kind of damaged. That shows us how tall our grass has to be before we can put our horses on it. And in Canada, well, anyway, this is where it says. It's like a good 12 inches or something. So this green mark here is how long the grass has to be. And this is not the horse's field, but you can see it's actually really close. So probably next week when it warms up and the ground dries out again, after all this rain, we'll be able to put our horses out there. You can see it's like right about here. Yeah, Almost. We can pretty much eyeball it, but I like having this stick just to verify because I'm still learning you guys. All right, so this is the final product. Obviously there's a lot of things missing. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. Explain to us what we have here. What do Everything we, we kind of use or probably will need, kind of. All right, so this is all the stuff that we probably will need. If we're need. talking wi like will need and use, then only this, that, and yeah, that's all. So Why does he use that bottle? She uses a rope. So can you explain to me like do you, how do you have this organized is it like I just put them on the wall All right, so Gabby did not get my organization Techniques, you know what, but what is this? Can you explain to us? What is this? I didn't move that thing. Who put that there? All right. What is it Sophie? Fin stuff. It's Finn stuff. All right, so we have Finn's section because Finn deserves a section. Those are his halters. We sent him with a bunch of his halters, but those are the ones that he also owns. We did? Yeah, we sent him two halters or three halters. So uh, we're probably never going to use that's this. Willows. I know, but we're probably... No, that's not Willows. Yes, it is. So, yeah, Willows had fuzz, fuzz in it. Did we take it off? I don't know. So the reason that I don't like this is because no matter how tight we put it, she kept putting her foot in there to try and take it down, and I was super paranoid. Do you guys remember when a fan gave us these bags long ago? This is Sophia's, and they're helmet bags, and I still love them. I think Abby uses hers still. I love that. Anyway, that is all that she has left. That is all what it looks like. This is our cleaned up version, and that is how it's going to stay. For now. For now, that's how it's going to stay. Gabby went into the trailer and found Chino's leather halter, which we'll need for show season. Do you have all the leather halters? Um, so we have... No, one was in there. So Storms, Chino's, and then I have a backup one in the trailer. And where, when's Penny's? Penny does not have one. Penny came with one. Penny came with one? Yeah. It might be in the pile. Okay, the pile. The, but the pile is Stella's. I'm pretty sure it was Stella's. So one thing I, sure one thing I love is that we have leather halters with their with our horses' names on them. No, I love no, that. Only me. Oh yeah. Don't only no. Me. Finn did. Yeah. With his. But we gave it to his owner. We gave. So only me. So only Gabby. So Sophie, I you and I, me. we are gonna do that. Okay. You and I are gonna get leather halters for our horses. I have one. And we are gonna get our. No, I, Penny came with one. Penny came with one. I don't know. They might be right. All right. All right. I did make some changes. I put another grazing muzzle. I put a lead, a uh, rope halter. I put my riding boots. And. Um, you guys know what horse I got this for? What horse did she buy that for? That is such a nice blue. Do you guys remember? Comment below. No, no, no. Don't tell them because. Some people will know. They will know this because a lot of people already remember this. So Sophie's going to clean up this section now. This is the section of the barn that we have all the stuff that we use. This is like the stuff that we use day in and day out. We pick our horse's feet at least four times a week. We do it in the arena when they're just standing there. We do it in their stalls in the morning or we do it in their stalls at night. We pick them often because our farrier said that it's really good for us to do that and we do. So we have grooming box down there. We have our grooming bag there. We just have a bunch of stuff. And Sophie's going to organize this and pick it all up, clean it all up. We also have stuff that I put on their feet, stuff we put in their mane and tail, conditioner. So three, two, one. Ta -da! This is what it looks like. All finished. Doesn't look much different. What is that bit there? Bridle there. That's Willows. That's Willows. I need to sell it. So uh, that is this section here 
this is the stuff that we're taking up to the house with. I also found these things cleaning off that table that I'm going to use. Uh, you guys remember maybe that when we moved here, we found like a raccoon graveyard and I have this skull and it's pretty intact and I love this. I want somebody to paint it. Like, I think it's just so cool. I want to paint it and maybe make it into like a jewelry holder or something. I just think it's so cool though. Like, it's just so, I don't know, it's cool, I think. So I also found the watering thing that I needed. And I also found this that I bought for Chino, or actually I bought it for all of our horses, but it was winter and it's hard to use. It's this poultice, poultice therapy. And it's not the one that I wanted. I wanted the medicated poultice. But anyways, I, ooh, I'm going to take this to the other barn and let's see if we can use it for something. Show it to Brandon and see what he tells us to do. Last but not least, this is my new section, as you can tell by all the pink. There we go. Now it is complete. My other halter for her is, is that mine too? Yeah, that's a bit. Anyway, that is my Penny section, and it's just right across from Penny's stall. By the way, she does not use this on Penny. Yeah, I don't like that one. I'd like to throw that in the garbage. That is the hey. worst. Oh, why? Stella. Oh, it is Stella's. Oh, I said the wrong thing. I don't like that one because it literally doesn't ever sit right. Like, it's hard to work. But anyway, I'm going to give you guys a quick tour of the areas that we cleaned up today. Saddle pads that will never be using on chance. Saddle pads she will never be using on chance. Penny, you just lucked out. Over here, we have our saddle pad station with our cottons and our wraps for any time we need those. And then over here, we have our buckets that we just cleaned. We have Gabby's tack trunk, which we have a Gabby station. And then over oh. here, we cleaned up our this station, uh, Gabby had it a lot less full, and then Sophie and I came and added a few things. Yeah, I added things. So. Over there, we have all of our extra boots and all of our extra helmets yeah, and we our. Didn't organize that, I don't think. No, we didn't oh, actually organize any of that. We didn't organize any of that. Um, we also have over there our boots that we wear if we go on t trail rides for like Chino, and we have fins, which is really sad. We didn't clean up this section over here. Um, and next on our list, we'll be cleaning up this section over here. This is all of our, our medical stuff and all of our products for grooming. We have a lot of that stuff at the other barn as well. And we have our storage. And then we have our blankets. So, lastly, Sophie cleaned up this section, which is where we tack up. This is where what we use to tack up uh, when we put our horses in the stall there. I don't tack up. I have a pony. That's... This is all the stuff that we cleaned out that's going to the garbage. Here's I think my. I, I did this too. Yep, so if we did this too. You should put this here so it's like okay. slanted. Balanced, yeah. So that is my penny station, all beautiful and, and pink. This is a cool thingy that's a bit cool. It's yeah, it's such a cool bridle. I got that for Mother's Day a year ago and I and love it still. These reins go with that bridle. But I like my rope halter better, and Penny really likes my rope halter a lot better than the bit and that bridle. So, and last of all. I also cleaned it. Our, yeah, so there we go. There, that's so, it, you guys. I'll, I'll show you what we have. So for each horse, we have a lead rope, a halter, and a climax. Halter, lead rope, climax. Halter, lead rope, climax. So I would like to color coordinate this. Sam bought me this, and I really like it because it was very thoughtful of him, but I want to... I'm going to search around the whole barn for your lead rope. Get a pink one, and then I also want to get a pink... Fly mask. In fact, I'd like to get pink fly masks for all of our girls. Well, Gracie is looking at a bug. Yeah, I love that one on her. But also, we have our crops and our flags and all I that stuff. This for Willow. Yeah, you did buy that for Willow. And we still have our bucket of twine we and our hay. A... And that is it for this video. Okay. We are done for today. We're going to take some stuff to the van, I'm so put tired. it in there. I'm so tired too. And take some stuff to the garbage. Um, like I said, we're going to do a tack trunk, clean out, and show you guys all the stuff that we took to Champs, and get it all ready for Trillium this year. Also, I plan to take all of my brushes up and wash them again. I wash yeah, them should. about three times a year, maybe four times a year, because it's hard to use them when they get all full. Like, that has a lot of hair in there. Did you want to try and clean that out? Pretty sure that's a willow hair. Yeah. 
<laughs> but we all use my pink brushes. That is it for today's video. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. It's gonna be a super happening, exciting weekend on the Day by Day Farm. I wish you all could come, but it'll be like you're here because you'll be watching. I'll see you guys next time. Don't you know that you